Hey guys, one more crazy night and going through upgrades of capacitors on my DR1. So as you may see, most of them are worse electronics, as a Kemet. Uh, there is no big difference. They say sound pretty similar. So you may go with any of them. Just uh, I got this worse electronics and they look pretty nice. I decided to use them. I just completed recapping and this would be the first run. Uh, let's see if it will work. Let's connect to the power supply. I hope it will. <laughs> Come on. All right, turn on. Tape. In place. All right, now would be time to measure and listen. See you soon. Hey guys, uh, here I just checked level. Level was fine. Now checking the frequency sweep. And what I can tell you, I see the change in frequency sweep is reduced. It was like plus two decibel on 15 kilohertz, and now it gives like plus half decibel, maybe one channel plus 0 0.8 decibel. But see how well it plays, how clean signal is. So it's minus 20 decibel signal Amplitude is small, but it shows really, really good results, as you may see. I may turn off light so it will be less noise from my LED lamp. So it does crazy good job. Now I just hear it a uh, couple tapes. One is factory recorded, one is recorded on the Kamichi CR7. They both sound so cool you wouldn't believe it all right so here we get now the see what is the middle and level it's not changing at all so that's really really cool all right next step check recording see you soon hey guys and now i'd like to show you something really really special recording results so technically i didn't touch parameters are pretty fine so 400 gears recording tape and here is the source tape minimal change i can tell you that uh, <laughs> needles don't move like up to 21 kilohertz see so one kilohertz Ten kilohertz needles are there. Fifteen kilohertz. See how well it records in face. Needles there. Twenty kilohertz. Type one tape. Minus one decibel. Twenty one. Twenty two. Minus three decibel. <laughs> See how well it records 23, 24. No amplitude modulation, nothing. Everything is super mega fine. So it responds and records very linear. So, really, really nice deck. Okay, let me check everything else and I will do a sound demo for you. I hope it will get the same results as I get with Sony when I would not be able to hear the Dolby, but we need to check it. So, see you soon. And here, guys, I'm recording on the Chrome tape, or Type 2 tape, technically. And it shows me exactly the same results as we've seen with uh, normal tape. So it's one kilohertz, 10 kilohertz. So levels are 
no change like half decibel maybe 15 kilohertz you see how well it keeps face you see levels here 20 kilohertz and it still keeps levels and face 21 starting to drop 22 right so technically very cool results so this deck and i believe like all the Kamishi decks are capable to do a pretty cool recording okay and i tune it bias it was like uh, plus almost plus two decibel so i tune it a little bit i made it uh, even type four Let's see. Right. So levels are a little bit off. And probably I have more Sony tapes than TDK main. So I technically may tune for the Sony. a little bit off so source tip done now let's check bias one kilohertz I see it's dropping two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 15, so Sony tapes, yeah, they know that they are not keep high frequencies so well, so I'll probably adjust it to have it minus 1 decibel, so we have a range to respond, well, or maybe we can just use bias on the front, yeah. And tune up Sony tapes with this bias. And we will have a little bit of spare for to tune up on the opposite direction for the TDK May. You see, so it shows three decibel difference. So it's for Sony. And this will be for the DKMA on the right, so let's check. But the DKMA has a little bit lower levels. I wonder if it has bright response. So you see, so now at the right position we have proper DKMA response. And at the left position for Sony, so we have three decibel difference. And I, I remember it was like one decibel before I replaced capacitors. So it's 20, 21, 22. So technically all three tape types are recording with the same response. And this is pretty cool. And I was recording in this position. Sounds good. See you in my next parts.